Thanks so much um, for inviting me here today, James. I really feel very honoured to be able to share with you um, at my great pleasure in presenting the next generation of uh, graduates that will be entering our sheep and wool industry. Um, all the technologies that we've been presenting over the last couple of days at the Sheep CRC conference are fed into our undergraduate sheep and wool program. Um, and first of all, though, I wanted to just showcase some of the students um, that are actually in the audience today, which was really lovely to catch up with, um, and show you what they're actually doing now in the industry. So this is just a few um, exceptional students that have gone through our sheep and wool program at UNE. Um, over there on your left, we've got Brett Smith, who is also in the audience. He is a wool broker with elders. Um, and a very popular guy amongst the industry. Um, and he's also running the Walgett Elders um, branch as well. Uh, we've got Sam Wan, who uh, graduated in 2011. She also works for Elders um, in the Wool Selling Centre in Melbourne. And she's also contributed in teaching our current students in sheep and wool science um, in, her, in her role. Um, Andrew Glover was one of our first graduates from the sheep and wool uh, units in 2009. He ran his own business um, up until 2017 and he's also in the audience and now is working manager at Mumblebone Marine I Stud. And lastly, Emma Turner graduated just um, last year and was very quickly, almost instantly after she got her bit of paper, was picked up by Australian Wool Network in Tassie as a wool specialist. And she's hopes to go on and do research um, later on in her career as well. Um, but me just showing you these great people in the industry and telling you how great they are is, is good, but I think that them telling you what they're achieving and how the wool units at UNE helped them is probably a better way. So I've just got a short video to show you um, of highlighting three of our students. I'm Peter Bradley and I'm the Senior Development Officer with Sheep Genetics, working with MLA. I grew up on a farm near the small village of Armitry in central west New South Wales. It's a mixed farm with commercial merino ewes, a border lester stud and cropping. When I was in year 12, I made the decision to study at the University of New England because I found that it was probably had the most comprehensive agricultural degree and I was particularly interested in sheep and wool and I knew that there was a focus of these units up at UNE. I found the units had a real commercial application. We've got to practice the skills that are actually being used in industry, not just learn about them. My passion for genetics stems from the commercial application. Growing up on our farm, I saw the benefits that adoption and using genetics and in particular breeding values had on our productivity. And I hope to share and, and help other producers reap those same rewards. Todd Willock from Woolbrook. I was a graduate of UNE uh, in 2008. I uh, did livestock science, completed many of the wool units. Now run a uh, a partnership with my family. So our business is a commercial and stud um, merino business along with cattle. Chose UNE mainly because of reputation. It had a, an excellent reputation for agriculture and that's really what I wanted to focus on leaving school. <laughs> my, my, my mum and dad uh, tried very hard I guess to, to persuade me that it was easier careers to choose than farming but uh, but yeah I've always had a strong passion for uh, for sheep and wool, particularly wool. My name is Emma McCrabb. I've just joined the sheep genetics team as the new Merino Select Development Officer. I've always wanted to study agriculture, but it was also about being in a setting where there were plenty of agricultural opportunities popping up throughout the experience. I studied a Bachelor of Agriculture and a Bachelor of Business at UNE, and throughout that I was able to do a few wool electives, which was fantastic because I've always had a strong livestock interest but doing those wool units allowed me to extend that practical knowledge that I've got from working in the sheds at home to an actual understanding of the entire supply chain.
Okay, so just a quick background on the history of wool education. Um, we were in a little bit of limbo when the sheep and pastoral science degree, uh, the wool and pastoral science degree finished at the University of New um, South Wales. And the wool CRC picked up um, and developed some wool wise material that was online for students to learn tertiary sheep and wool education. But it wasn't until the Sheep CRC started um, in 2001 that they really reinvigorated tertiary education in sheep and wool. Um, we were very fortunate that they developed 10 specialised sheep and wool units that can be taught as electives in uh, a, a Bachelor of Agriculture or, or some sort of animal science degree. And then they licensed those units to the Australian Wool Education Trust in 2006. Um, the, the Wool Education Trust that um, Alex mentioned is a fund supported by the Australian Wool Testing Authority and AWI, and they fund um, vocational and tertiary education in sheep and wool science and supply scholarships and the delivery of these units at the University of New England. So from 2007 to now, um, the Australian Wool Education Trust have been supporting this delivery, and I'll um, tell you a little bit more about these units that we offer. Oh, actually, I'll tell you how many students we've got through. So um, over, over the course of this program, since 2007, we've had a five-fold increase in students studying sheep and wool science. These students are from studying at UNE, but also studying in our hub, uh, where the hub, UNE is the hub, and the Spoke Universities um, are the Cross Institute, the dotted lines that are there. So there's nine universities across Australia that we're getting fed um, that are sp specialising in sheep and wool, but they're studying at another university with the rest of their core units. So the units that we offer, the six specialised units, we've got on-farm units, uh, sheep production and fundamentals of sheep and wool and sheep management. And all the sheep CRC programs, Ask Bill, Paraboss, um, Ram Select, are all integrated into those units and students get hand-on exposure to those um, apps and, and skill sets. We then go off farm and look at wool technology. The Australian Wool um, Testing Authority supports that unit and students get to go and see the labs down in Melbourne. Uh, wool marketing and clip preparation, we um, had Philip Adard speak yesterday and he is a big supporter of this unit and allows us to come and see um, his on-farm wool testing and speaks to the students about his um, supply chain of, of his products as well. And then lastly, wool processing covers from the greasy wool right through to garment manufacturing. So we're covering all bases of the sheep and wool industry. The interesting thing we've found um, of recent years just by um, surveying some of our students is that because the University of New England is the hub for sheep and wool science, we're actually drawing a lot of students from across the country coming to UNE to study specifically sheep and wool. So you can see down the bottom, UNE has students enrolling in these units from all different um, states and territories where the other home universities are only really drawing from their own home state that the students are coming from. So we're becoming um, a hub for specialist education. So where are these undergraduates graduating and, and then going? Well, um, within the sheep and wool industry, we've got um, a broad range of different uh, careers that they're going into, predominantly going back to the family sheep property, which I think is great knowing that we've got an ageing um, population of sheep producers, uh, cons consulting and extension, research and managing sheep properties um, themselves. So uh, about 50, well over 50% of our students that are studying sheep and wool are actually going back into the sheep and wool industry. And we've estimated um, over the 10 year period that we gathered this information, about 400 students had gone into the sheep and wool industry in that time. So lastly, um, I just wanna say that 
I think we're in very safe hands. The hub and spoke method that has been supported by the Sheep CRC and the Australian Wool Education Trust has allowed us to educate the next generation who are very passionate and driven and want to contribute to the sheep and wool industry. And I think that we're going to continue having successes in the industry because of these people. Thanks.